at that point, I was not getting any better. And it was kind of like the last hoorah of like what they can do for me. They had to start me on an a investigational drug, it was just a study that I wasn't qualified for. That drug is called remdesivir. The same medication they use for Ebola, and it seemed to turn me around. So I'm pretty lucky I was able to get it. I asked Manuel if he thinks it saved his life. It's hard to say. Um, I believe my recovery wouldn't be as good without the drug. I wanted to know more about the drug, so I reached out to Dr. Pyle Coley. Remdesivir is a drug that was first developed in 2014, primarily for use in Ebola. And what we found out at that time was that it's relatively safe and relatively well tolerated. In a test tube, remdesivir can actually block viral replication. There are two sets of data giving people hope right now. The first is a data set from the New England Journal of Medicine that was published earlier this week, which looked at about 61 patients. What they found was that two thirds of them actually had improvement in their oxygen class relatively quickly, meaning they required less oxygen. And only 18% of them actually ended up dying. The other data set comes from early results leaked from a clinical trial that's still going on at the University of Chicago. And this is about 125 patients, of which 113 were severely ill. And what they found is that giving people remdesivir resulted in faster recovery, uh, temperature curve coming down, uh, respiratory status getting better. And most people actually went home in under a week after receiving the medication. So again, take it with a little grain of salt because the, the study hasn't been completed yet and this data was leaked out inadvertently. But both of these findings together do give us a little bit of promise that this drug may have some clinical efficacy.